Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes from the Sims 3 and the Sims 4. <laughs> so today we are recreating the Langerick family. So if you are familiar with past generations of the game, you are familiar with the Langerick family. So we first see Kaylin Langerick. I think I'm saying that right. It, it comes out really weird when I say Langerick, but you know, just bear with me, okay? Anyways, we see her in The Sims 2, and she is a maid, a uh, pre-made maid in the towns, and she is in a relationship with Don Lothario. She's one of his girlfriends. He's in love with her. She's also having an affair with Daniel Pleasant. So, she's got a lot of drama. She's a very promiscuous little lady. Um, but in The Sims 3, we find her as a child. Since The Sims 3 is prior to The Sims 2, if that makes any sense, you know, in timeline theories. So, anyways, we see her whole family. And this was probably, like, my top three. One of my top three favorite families in The Sims 3. I absolutely love this family. I love their house. I thought their house was so pretty, so cool. One of my favorite houses to play in. But let me tell you their family description. It says, Kaylin Langerick cleans up after her brother and stay-at-home dad while her mother works all day. Now, Kaylin's Aunt Zelda has a ride with a jungle full of half-dead plants in tow, and things are messier than ever. So, we have already created Dustin Langerick, which is the father. So, he is an adult, and as mentioned in the family description, he is a stay-at-home dad. So, his wife, who we'll talk about in just a second, Ileana, she's kind of like the breadwinner of the family. She's very successful. While he stays at home, he's a slob, he's lazy, he's very family-oriented, but he just really is not any help around the house as far as, like, cleaning, cooking, handy stuff, yard stuff, none of that. He just loves his kids, and, uh, yeah, but what's interesting about that to me is he does not look like a stay-at-home dad. I always thought that was so weird because he's so fit he's very athletic and he would actually do probably really well in like the military or athletic career um but he's he's not he's very chill laid back he doesn't have that dad bod you wouldn't look at him and think oh he's a lazy slob but he is um, he's a very attractive dad I always thought but yeah he's a stay-at-home dad loves his kids fun, interesting character to play. If you wanted to download him in The Sims 4 or This Family, you could easily have him get a job. But I never did that when I played with the family in The Sims 3, just because I like to go off the storyline that he is the stay-at-home dad. But now if we go to his wife, Ileana, her little description, which I don't, did I, I didn't even read. I didn't even read his description, did I? No. Okay, well, I guess I won't be reading descriptions. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read the family description. We're just gonna talk about them one by one. Okay, so anyways, his wife, Ileana, like I said, she is the breadwinner of the family. She's in the business career, and she wants to be a CEO one day. She's a hard worker. She is very driven. She's very neat, the complete opposite of her husband. She loves her kids, absolutely, and I think she works as hard as she does to give her family the life that they deserve and the life that she wants them to have. She wants them to have better. Um, but yeah, she's very well kept, very put together. I kind of see her having that perfectionist attitude, that perfectionist personality. Um, but yeah, that is Ileana, the wife. It's Kaylin's mother. So moving on to her sister, who is named Zelda May. So Zelda May is a young adult. So she is younger than her older sister, obviously. And she is such a beautiful sim. I've always loved Zelda May, and in the description it says that Kaylin, you know, has to clean up after her too, but she doesn't have the lazy or slob trait. She's just very flirty, very outgoing, loves to party, and she lives that party lifestyle, and she loves plants. I kind of imagine her kind of being... Um, not like kind of hippie, but not really hippie. She's still young, you know, but she loves plants. She, you know, carries around all these dead flowers with her. I imagine that she loves the idea of having all these plants and being like a hippie and get, having that little persona, but she just can't keep them alive for nothing at 
me at Carissa. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's a fun sim, and I always loved playing this family specifically for her and to play out her, her story and just to kind of see where you know it takes her. Um, you know, she kind of comes in, and I imagine that they obviously the house you'll see is technically four bedrooms, but I kind of imagine that her moving in would have kind of made um not made make Ileana have to you know work things around so I imagine that downstairs where I have Zelda May's bedroom as you'll see when we get to the build I imagine that that was at one time Ileana's office since she is so career driven and everything but she ended up having to move her desk space and everything upstairs to her bedroom so her sister would have you know a place to live and yeah she's actually in the music career um, she doesn't really have any talent in music. I think it just has to do with her personality kind of being, you know, that party-going girl. Um, I think that if I was to play her in The Sims 4, if I was to download this family, um, I did not give her a job. If you want to download her, she is unemployed because I wanted to leave it up to you. Because if you have seasons, um, I could also see her possibly being... And that gardening career, you know, where she creates flowers and makes flowers. But then again, I kind of see where they're coming from when it comes to her wanting to be a social light and wanting to live the life and party. So I understand where that music career come from. But also another fun career I could definitely see Zelda May in is the acting career that came with Get Famous. So I did not give her a job because I wanted you to have your options when it comes to her because I think she definitely could you know, give you a lot of different options when it comes to her job. But anyways, moving on to the teenage son, Parker. Uh, okay, um, I said this before when I created Michael Bachelor in the Bachelor series, but like Michael and Parker were just like my crushes back in the day. Uh, I just, I don't know, they were so cute, so athletic, just like the typical, you know, boy these days. He's very athletic, very handsome, very popular, and he's much like his dad. He's very athletic, like I said, but he's also a slob, so he definitely leaves a mess wherever he goes. He's into sports. He doesn't really care about helping out, cleaning around the house. I imagine that he likes to, you know, torment his little sister. They kind of have that protective big brother, little sister relationship, but he just, you know, is just a pain in her butt 90% of the time, especially when she's having to you know, clean up after him and everything, but yeah, he's just your typical a athletic, jock, popular boy in school, and I mean, it's so stereotypical and so basic, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> it's real life, uh, I mean, it's just relatable, he's relatable, and I really liked him as a sim, he was a lot of fun to play with, and then of course, we created Kaylin as a child, and as a child in The Sims 3, she actually looked like the orphan, an orphan, have you ever seen the movie The Orphan? If you have, um, that movie, just so y'all know, scarred me. <laughs> that movie is terrifying. And she terrified me in The Sims 3. I always gave her a makeover because she just looks so creepy. And I understand that it's kind of portraying her as the maid in The Sims 2. And, you know, she's very neat, cleans up after the family. But I really wanted to give her, you know, a different look in The Sims 4 recreation of her. I wanted her to look like a child because... She didn't look like a child in The Sims 3. She looked like a little maid, a little orphan. I just, I didn't like it. So I gave her, like, you know, a bright little romper. I gave her the put-together bun, and I do imagine that she is very, very, very neat. And like I said, she cleans up after her family and all of that. But at the same time, she's a child. And I wanted her to have that aspect about her. And in her room, I tried to make her room very colorful and childlike. She's very much into art and crafts and stuff when she's not cleaning up behind her family. So yeah, overall this family is really fun. Um, I had a great time recreating them. It was so much fun. And their house uh, was not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, but, you know, I did have my struggles with it. And let me go ahead and tell y'all real quick before we just start, you know, rambling and talking about the house and whatnot. Um, I updated my Femora. I used Femora Wondershare, and I had an update for it. And so, I mean, I didn't know really what the update was. I just thought it was going to fix some glitches or whatever. Well, no, it's a whole new, like, updated program. Everything looks different. And when I downloaded it, 
I was like, okay, I, I had the old version and the new version. But there was some kind of glitch on the account where it was saying that I had the basic plan when I had paid for the lifetime plan. So there was like a watermark on my videos and I could not figure out how to get rid of it because when I went online, the account said lifetime. But when I went to the program, it was like no basic account, yada, yada, yada. So it was very frustrating. <laughs> and the only way I could fix it was to delete both programs and reinstall it. And it kind of like reactivated the device I'm using it on. And I was able to fix the problem that way. But in doing so, I deleted the old version. And I like the old version of Wondershare Film Wars so much better. This new version is just very complicated. It's supposed to be easier, but I don't find it easier. It's supposed to, I don't know. But like right now, I don't even know where I'm at in the video because there's not a render option. There's no render option because it's supposed to be like real-time render, but um, it just looks very choppy. In some parts, when I was editing, it was flowing really smooth and very fast, but then it would get choppy. So, I don't even know how this is going to turn out. You know, we may actually just have to scratch this all together and start over. But I'm hoping that, you know, once we export it and everything, it's going to look good and flow good. But I'm definitely probably not even talking at the right spot. So, if I go to talk about a room or something, and I did that like 10 minutes ago, <laughs> don't mind me. I don't, I don't know where I'm at in this video. But if any of you use Femore nine and you have any advice please help me because i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but also building the exterior of the house i did kind of speed it up it's a little bit faster than the creative sim and a little bit faster than me creating the interior of the house and that's because um i just i didn't want this to be like super super long video you know um <laughs> because it's a big family it's a big house so I tried to cut it down as you know fast as I could. So me doing the exterior and the build and everything, I just kind of you know upped it to speed. So hopefully it's not too fast for you guys. If it is, just let me know and I will try to keep everything the same speed. But I didn't really this didn't look that fast to me. But right now, like I said, it's choppy. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> But anyways, moving on to their house, which we, um, I don't, like I said, I don't even know where we're at, but I'm, we're on the house somewhere. <laughs> and um, it's a modern type house, which like I said, one of the main reasons I love this family so much, because in The Sims 3, when I used to play, I was a lot younger and I could not be bothered to build houses or create sims. Half the time, you know, when I would just get bored, I would go in and just play with the different townies and, you know, follow their stories because, you know, they have such interesting, fun stories. And I loved this family because of their house. Most of their houses and like their families, yeah, cool stories, love the families, but their houses, ugh, and I had no skill, like I said, in, you know, refurnishing the house or decorating it and making it look nice, so, um, yeah, I like to play in the houses that were already tolerable, and this is one of my favorite houses, I just thought it was so freaking cool, and, you know, now today, since I'm a little bit more experienced in building and the style of houses, this house is very modern, mid-century and I tried to go for that look you know on the exterior um, the brown part that I use on the exterior in the Sims 3 I believe it was a lot lighter and you saw me go back and forth between the light and the dark swatches but I ended up settling for the darker swatch just because I like how it blended with the green and it just looked a lot better so I went with that and also I did add a lot more plants in the yard versus the house in the sims 3 there wasn't a lot of you know plants but i'm very ocd i want it to look good on the gallery i want you to download it so i'm trying to make it look presentable but i think it looked really good and then also the front door um you can't tell but i actually ended up i think i cut that part out i ended up changing it you'll probably see it in like clips but i ended up changing the front door i think it looks a lot better from the exterior point of view but anyways, on to the inside, I obviously tried to go after the modern mid-century theme that the house is based after. I tried to go for the brown and the green and the creamy looking 
um, you know, theme color scheme throughout the house, and they get turned out so nice, but I was kind of struggling in the living room because it was so big, and the placement of the fireplace was just odd, uh, but I thought it was so pretty how it kind of, you know, juts out like that, so I ended up, you know, trying to figure out how I can work around that, so the only way I could figure out how to do that was to kind of build that excerpt where the TV's coming out right there, because the TV was way too far back if I pushed it, you know, all the way back against the wall, and it, it just looked awkward, so I think this turned out really nice, I like what I did with it, um, and I'm, I'm proud of it, but I think their house is so beautiful, y'all, and, um, I, I try to put, like, a lot of art, I try to make it look very clean, it's not very cluttered, because, you know, Kaylin and her mom, Ileana, are both, like, neat freaks, so I imagine that they would keep it really, really clean, and so I really didn't want to clutter it too bad, but anyways, <sighs> moving on for me rambling about the house, um, uh, because it's kind of like a struggle, like I said, I don't even know where I'm at right now because I just need help with this new film more I wonder to share. But a little update on me, you guys. If you're still watching this, I want to do, I do, I want to do, I, I do want to, I want to. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I want to give a quick update because if you follow me on Twitter, if you've seen my post that I posted on the community tab, I did let you guys know that I'm not going MIA, but I will be less consistent on my channel. And I don't want, it's not something that I want, it's not that I need a break, but it's just unfortunate circumstances. Um, just let me fill you in real quick. In case you didn't know, I'm pregnant. Surprise. <laughs> I am now five months pregnant, and it is insane how fast it is going by. I have like, what, four months left? It's, it's crazy. It's, it's insane. Insane. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm pregnant, so when I told my boss, I worked for a plastic surgeon, I was the office manager, he's three years out from retiring, and so, you know, it's very laid back in his office, he's kind of part-time himself, I was the only one, the only one working in that office, so that's why I had a lot of spare time, a lot of free time to, you know, play on The Sims and build and stuff, because he wasn't, he wasn't working full time, so there wasn't like a lot of extra, you know, stuff for me to busy myself doing, so I would just play The Sims, you know, <laughs> um, but anyways, he paid me really good, I helped him do everything, he was never like really like mean to me, he didn't like dislike me or anything, I did what I was told, um, he was a jerk, just because I think he was very entitled, um, thought that he was better than everybody, and he could be rude to me sometimes, and treat me kind of like I was beneath him, but he really only did it in front of his patients, so I didn't really care for him too much, but you know, I was working there, it was a job, I was learning, gaining an experience, well anyways, I told him I got pregnant, or I was pregnant, and he was like, oh okay, cool, great, and I was like, okay, cool, yeah, well, you know, I'm due August 1st, so you know, once it get closer to that time, you know, I guess we can figure out, you know, my maternity leave and whatnot, so yeah, he didn't really mention it for a few months, well, then he finally was like, oh, I have a friend, a friend of mine, and my wife, she's an older lady, and she needs extra work, so she's gonna come in and fill, fill in for you while you're not here, and I'm like, okay, great, that is perfectly fine, just wonderful, great, I'm glad you found somebody, well, then, um, he started bringing her in two days a week, and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I have about four to five months left until I give birth. Why are you already bringing somebody in for me to train? And I just kept wondering, like, what is, what is, I just felt like there was something not right. There was something not right, and my gut feeling was right, because eventually he came to me, and he was like, look, um, you know, I'm gonna have her work Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you're going to work Monday and Wednesdays, and I was like, hey, I can't do that, and I basically begged him, I was like, look, I was like, I have a baby on the way, I'm a grown woman, like, I am a grown woman, I have bills to pay, I have a car note, I have insurance, I have, you know, it just, I'm preparing for a baby, I have bills to pay, I was like, I can't afford for you to cut my hours in half, I said, I understand when I go into, you know, maternity leave, I have the baby, I'm going to have unpaid maternity leave off, it won't be paid, I understand that, but I wanted to come back, and I wanted to have a job, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I basically just told him where I was at, and 
I was very upset about it, and I, you know, I talked to my mom, my boyfriend, everything, and I was like, I mean, I don't know what he's going to do, and they're like, oh, you know, he'll do the right thing, you know, that'd be awful of him to put you in a bind like that, you know, well, it, he did, he put me in a bind, he ended up texting me and telling me that he was cutting my hours, um, and he did it, he texted me, he didn't even do it to my face after I begged him, I guess, because he couldn't, he, he knew it was wrong, but because this woman was like a family friend of his and she needed extra help, um, I imagine that he was paying her cheaper than what he was paying me. Um, so, because he's part-time, he didn't want to pay both of us, if that makes sense. Y'all get what I'm saying? So, he was paying her for cheaper. So, if to him, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about anybody but himself, you know? So, me being pregnant, needing money, not his problem. So, it just kind of ticked me off, <laughs> and I just felt like okay, I was being mistreated. That's, that's wrong. I, um, so, I quit, and I talked to my mom and everything before I quit, and they was like, no, you don't need to work for him. That's wrong. You know, we're going to help you, yada, yada, yada. So, anyways, I quit, and I don't have a job right now, but I do have, you know, thankfully, parents and a family and a boyfriend that is, you know, helping, you know, me pay my bills and everything until after the baby's born and I can get a job and go back to work and kind of contribute to, you know, paying bills and to the family and everything like that. But anyways, with all that being said, I was looking on the bright side, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to have so much more time for The Sims and my channel. I can just, you know, this is a passion of mine. I love this community. I love making videos. I love talking to you guys. Um, but with that came just, I, I just, I get stressed easy and I worry a lot. Um, and I just feel like if I'm playing The Sims all day long, I'm not really trying to do something, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not trying to make money. So, I'm like in the process of just trying to find anything that can help me. Just here and there, a little bit of money just to help my family who are helping pay my bills. So, that is why I'm kind of cutting back on my channel. Um, I'm still going to upload, like I said, it just won't be as consistent. So, I'm going to continue with the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. And I'm going to continue doing speed builds here and there. And different things that I can do voiceovers with. I'm probably not going to do a lot of Let's Plays. I'm going to probably put a hold on those until further notice because it's just a lot harder for me to stay consistent with Let's Plays. I feel like you have to be consistent with Let's Plays. Um, and I don't want that pressure. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand and don't mind. That is what's been going on with me. So, um, yeah. We're, we're going to be alright though, guys. We're going to be alright. I know some of you are like, oh my god, that's terrible. You know, worry, worry about you and the baby. And I am. That's why I quit the job. Because that would just tick me off. <laughs> and it's just not right to be mistreated like that. I'm just, I'd rather kind of struggle for a little bit. And kind of just take a step back and find something else, you know. A better opportunity or hopefully a door will open that's better than this. Or that one, you know what I'm saying. Then bow down to mistreatment because that's just not me and I'm not doing it so um yeah I'm good we're good baby's doing fine we're stress-free I'm, I'm well I'm trying to be stress-free um I'm trying <laughs> but yeah we're doing good and I'm currently 19 weeks now which is crazy like I said we're almost like halfway there it's it's insane um but yeah, he's getting stronger all this morning. Like currently, I just feel him kicking and rolling and just it's the weirdest feeling, you guys. Oh my god. Uh it's it's weird. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just freaking weird. <laughs> and before I got pregnant, I would see the videos everybody would share on Facebook of like their babies rolling in their stomach and kicking. And you could see it. And I was like, oh, that freaks me out. And I was like, oh, no, like I'm going to be feeling that because I don't know, just stuff like that just kind of creeps me out. Um, but then once you actually get pregnant and it's your child and you like, I love this baby so much. I haven't even held it yet. I haven't even laid my eyes on it yet. And like, I'm getting emotional. I'm hormonal, but I'm, I'm not going to cry, but I love him so much. And like, it's, it's still weird feeling it, but it's like the most amazing feeling knowing that I have like a little life inside of me. Um, and just like feeling him roll around and kick. It's like reassuring because 
he's okay in there. He's healthy. He's active. He's moving around. Let me know he's good. <laughs> um, but it's, it's still weird. It's the weirdest feeling. <laughs> so, like, right now, I'm feeling like, ooh like doing some crazy stuff. I don't know what he's doing. He's a rowdy little thing, y'all. He is so active. He is always moving. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're good. We're real good. So don't worry about me. But I do appreciate everybody's kind words and everything and having my back. But yeah, we're just doing what we can, you know. So unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to take some time back. But you know, I have a baby to prepare for. And I and trust me, still love The Sims. I'm still constantly like wanting to build, and I, I've been really inspired with building lately. So I think this will be good for me to kind of take a step back from pressuring myself with the Let's Plays because I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself to be consistent with it and be creative. Um, so yeah, I think this is ultimately a good thing. So I hope you guys can agree. But Anyways, back to the build. Um, I don't know where we're at, like I said. <laughs> but what it's showing me right now on my screen is we are in the parents' bedroom. We're in Dustin and Ileana's bedroom. So, um, their bedroom. Y'all, probably my least favorite room of the whole house. I struggled with it so much because it's big. It's a really big room. So, I really wanted to utilize as much space as I could because I don't like big, empty space. I just don't, right? Um, so I tried, but it just looks very, like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just, I don't really like it. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's, I guess it's like a realistic bedroom, but not a fan of it. And I think the reason why is because I had to fit her a desk in there because Ileana is in the business career. And like I said earlier, I would imagine that the downstairs bedroom that was Zelda May's was at one time maybe an office or something like that. And they had to, you know, kind of rearrange the house so they can f have room for Zelda May. So I imagine, like I said, that Ileana would have just moved her desk upstairs to her room. And I built this before Strangerville came out, so we didn't have the laptops. But now I wish I wouldn't have put the desk in there. Maybe put the desk in there, but not the desktop computer and not a lot of the clutter and just kind of have her you know, purchase a laptop and use the laptop, you know, in the kitchen or around the house or whatever because it is portable or her go to the library or do something like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think it was like the desk right here that just made it look very, I don't know, it just threw me off. I'll balance it. I don't know. The room is just very big <laughs> and it's just so perfectly like rectangle that I, it, I don't, I didn't like it. Not a fan. <laughs> but like I said, Kaylin's room, in The Sims 3, I don't even really remember what it looked like in The Sims 3, but I imagine that it had a lot to do with her looks and her personality, which was very boring, very bland, very neat, and the same way that I did with her recreation, I really wanted her room to portray a child's bedroom. So I think it turned out so bright and so beautiful. Um, the reason I wanted it to be so bright is because she is an artistic sim. Um, she is neat, she's a perfectionist, but she's also very artistic and uh, she likes to paint. And as a child, I imagine that she would like arts and crafts and stuff like that. So I made it very bright, colorful. I put a lot of pictures on the wall. I gave her some like um, little craft, you know, the little, um, what is, like the little craft box that came, I think it was Parenthood. I put that on her desk and everything, just kind of to portray that she's into that. And for some reason, I didn't give her the little, the little drawing table that is actually goes towards her creativity skills. I did not do that for some reason. Um, but that would be a fun thing to purchase if you was to tell them this house and this family. Sorry. But I did put a lot of paintings, like I said, and pictures as if she had drawn them on the wall and everything. But, yeah, I really wanted her room to be very youthful, very childlike and everything. And I just, this would be my goals. If I was a child, this was my bedroom goals. <laughs> I would love to have a bedroom like that. But Parker's room is more like teenage boyish. Um, it's also kind of big, so, yeah, but eh, I like it a little better than I liked the Dustin and Ileana's bedroom because it was a little bit of a different shape, so I can kind of work with it a little bit more. So I put his bed over there in a corner that I usually wouldn't put the bed, but I wanted to include a desk because I imagine that, you know, he would 
have a desk. I don't think he'd be very much into studying as much, but I definitely think that Ileana would, you know, give them both a desk in their bedroom and expect them to, you know, do better in school and be good at school. But I just kind of think Parker's at that age where he's just like, nah, not into it. I'm more into sports. So I gave his room that youthful look, the boyish look. And um, I gave him a punching bag in his room to take up some space, as well as a bookshelf that had a radio on it so he could you know, listen to music and hang out in his room and punch um, the punching bag and, you know, build his athletic skill and, you know, kind of work on that. But, yeah, um, well, that being said, that's pretty much it for the interior of the house. It's the bathroom's pretty basic. The hallway, didn't do much with the hallway because it was just so long and narrow and I, I just didn't like it wasn't a fan of it <laughs> so I just ended up putting like a little plant over in the corner by the stairs I was gonna add pictures and stuff but it just was off balance threw me off didn't want to clutter it too much so I kept it very simple and outside their backyard is just kind of like entertainment um it just screams entertainment. Like, I imagine that they would have a lot of parties there, a lot of people over. Parker would invite all of his friends over. Zelda May would invite all of her, you know, friends that she meets when she goes partying over. And I don't think that Ileana would like it too much. But, hey, that's what it's like to have a younger sibling. But, yeah, overall, I think that their house is so nice. I'm a huge fan of it. And if you are as well, it is available for download on the gallery. It does not include any custom content, so you should easily be able to find it. Um, my origin, all of that is in the description down below. The family is also available for download, but they do include custom content, and I do not link the custom content. I'm sorry, but if you go look at the links in the description, you will see my tumblr which is my cc so all of my cc that i use can be found there i have a lot of cc so you might not find it right off the bat but hey you know what you can still download the family give them a makeover it's fine this is just for fun but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not and with that being said i will talk to you guys later bye